Welcome, in today's video, we will be discussing how to make a distribution panel that can be used to distribute power with the proper phase and current ratings to the various loads connected in a facility. This three phase was made at Smartec Lab. This is an industrial distribution panel that can be used to safely control the actuators and AC loads in a production facility. In this video, we will be going step by step how the distribution panel was designed and built. The video starts from the unboxing stage of the distribution panel which includes identifying the various components. Then where you see what type of box was chosen, the hole dimensions that was drilled and openings cut out to fit components. Through all the processes involved in the making of the distribution, like the right component selection, their ratings, until the part when it is completed into a full-fledged working design. Stick around until the end of this video and we will explain and show how everything was designed. The Schematic Diagram To get the Schematic Diagram, kindly order a copy of the Schematic Diagram from the description link. Why don't you take a moment to like and subscribe to this video to encourage us to make more. Let us begin. Step 1. Selecting the appropriate box size and dimension. When making a three-phase distribution panel, the size of the components comes to mind. The contents of the distribution panel depend mostly on where it will be encased. The components needed to be protected from dust and moisture. A suitable box with the right openings to house the load controls must be selected. The box must be big enough to contain all the components needed for the build design. As shown here, this box has two bases at which components like breakers are placed strategically. As such, even when the lid is closed, the openings were made to bring out the switch flip buttons. Component Selection and Component Identification the components used in this design were a three-phase breaker, three-phase contactor, current transformers, double-phase breakers, myriad color pilot lamps, three-phase voltmeter and ammeter. See link in the description for a full list and their various function explanation. Construction of the distribution panel design To get started on the construction, the base sitting was used. Insulation bus and copper bars were used to, to make the termination and foundation points for connections. This were laid out perfectly and according to ensure easy connections and termination of wires. This were laid out perfectly and according to ensure easy connections and termination of wires. The three-phase indicator also were mounted on the box lid. They were red, green and yellow. This indicator voltmeters were also made to read the various voltage of the phases they were connected to. The main breaker switch is connected first, terminating its cable on the copper bar below it. This switch controls everything on this distribution panel. Once it is flipped on, the distribution is activated. Properly logged cable was used to make firm connections to this breaker. We use the other three phase breaker as shown in the schematic diagram. Firm connections were made and the cable were color code branded using shrink tubes. Mm -hmm. 
using a DIN rail, the connection was finally concluded. Next, is to wire the controls. This was neatly done and the indicator voltmeters were connected. This was neatly done and the indicator voltmeters were connected. Wrapping up. The completed setup design. After all the controls were connected, and the voltmeter indicators were connected. The design was complete. As shown, the design is fully assembled and ready to be installed at the facility of choice. It is fully automated, and easy to use. It is also sleek and well presentable, giving both an efficient and robust design feel. And this is how we design the three-phase distribution panel design that can be used in any factory or facility to ensure proper load balancing. Let us know if you have any questions or if you would want to order one from us. Don't forget to like, subscribe to your channel.